Hello everyone, welcome to another awesome day of FileMaker training. My name is Richard Carlton. I'm the CEO and creator of FMTrain.tv, where every day at this time slot, at one o'clock, we are doing live streams about the FileMaker platform. Some of the broadcasts are simple, some of them are more complex. What you're watching is a recording of an event that we did where we were talking to Christian Schmidt of Monkey Bread Software, and he was discussing a number of different things, and the topics were so good that we really decided to break them into separate videos. So this video that you're gonna watch here is about scripting or automating the plugin installation process for your Mac users and your Windows users who are using FileMaker Pro. Remember on FileMaker WebDirect, you have to install it manually on the server. And if you're using FileMaker Go, well, there are no plugins on FileMaker Go. So just keep that in mind. If you want to access it, you would access it once again through FileMaker Server. So this is a conversation about automating the installation process for your end users. Now, before we get going on that, I want a reminder that this broadcast is uh, put together by fmtrain.tv. So if you go to FMTrain.tv, you can press the live tab right here to see the upcoming broadcast schedule. More importantly, if you want to help support the channel, we greatly appreciate it because even though we do a number of free things, our complete bundle subscribers, which are people here who buy our training here, uh, our complete bundle subscribers are the ones that really help keep the lights on and keep the team going. It's really, really important that we uh, encourage everyone to become an annual bundle subscriber. You can even buy two years of this and save some money. So, so if you're interested in a discount, send an email to my team at support at RC Consulting and let us know if you're looking for a one-year or two-year deal. Keep in mind that we have a lot of really great video courses over here, um, but we have so many courses that we don't really sell them individually anymore. So we just sell a training bundle uh, on an annual subscription. Pretty neat stuff. So let's go ahead and jump into today's conversation. Uh, we're talking to Christian Schmidt about installing his plugin automatically with some scripts. So let's jump to that. All right, so this well, is this is the new MBS plugin, right? Twelve is that your new version? Twelve. Yeah, I just uploaded a new pre-release today. Oh. Uh, Twelve dot one uh, pre-release one with a few bug fixes for the um, for the autocomplete and. Uh, so is this a sample? Functions. Can we do can we do this right now? Can yeah. We... So there's an URL. Okay. Oh, there it is. Okay, um, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here so we go. you can just copy the URL maybe to your browser and yep. then press the return key and then it should open FileMaker and get you to this database. Uh, we have the username Fewer and Passport Fewer, uh, which allows you to, well, um, log in and then you can create new records. You can make, um, write some text and you will be able to put the picture in. Uh, so everyone can, while we code live, uh, test the feature on their own computer. All right. Uh, okay, back up. But, 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 but I have a question. So I don't have a, I don't have the plugin installed. Do I have to install the plugin? How does this yes, even work? It would be good if you have the MBS plugin installed, and then you see here uh, the version number. Can we script? Can you script it so it installs it for me? Uh, yeah. Sure. Well, I'm just asking the question. I'm being greedy, right? Right. Should I implement that now? Or? Why not? Why not? Okay. Why not? Okay. Are you are you afraid to show us how great your product no, no. is? Let's, let's You're make afraid. Little... You're very okay. afraid. Let me go. Get, I'm going to get my other laptop. I'm going to Margaret. Can you step in for a moment? I'm going to get okay. my laptop. So I can uh, do this too. Let's make a plugin installation table. So we make a, a plugin table. And next. The table needs a few informations. Let's say uh, we have um, a container for the plugin file. Container. So um, for this example, we will probably just do it for Mac, but uh, in general, there should be something like uh, the version um, M in that uh, container, maybe also some description So, and now we oh yeah this is all live over the internet so we got a new table here and let's make a new record I have a folder here with a plugin so okay, okay let's drop in the plugin Uh, 
I know you're asking some um, megabytes to be uploaded. Well, I'm just, uh, you know, I'm just trying to make, this is another great demo of how to forcibly install, if you license uh, the monkey bread for your team, how do you get it on everyone's computer easily, right? It's an important skill set to have. Anyone else doing this besides yeah, me? I'm typing, um, typing all this stuff in live stream dot FMP12. Hit return. <gasps> Allow. Yeah. Ooh, FileMaker. Hmm. Okay. Oh, no, it's inserting. Okay, so this is version 12.0.12.1.1. Like this. So, uh, make a question. So usually you would have several plugins there, like uh, the Mac version, the Windows version, you would have flags there to say, is this uh, the one to deploy or is it uh, the one you are testing? Then you would have maybe flags for which platform it is, but I'm skipping that because, well, I want to get finished in this hour. Nah, you're fine, but, you're fine. But we're hey, we're but, trying to sell your stuff. This is awesome. I mean, it doesn't take you that long, yeah. does it? How, uh, how, so I mean, this is. I'm waiting for to a side. This window, this window is far too big. Okay. Uh, far too big. Let's see, let me see. So, this is on a server to? called. Yeah. This has to fit the screen. So, let's make a script install plugin. So, uh, go to. So, whenever you start a script, you should make sure you are in the right layout. Go to record. So, what do we do next? Um, we may use the install plugin file script step. The field as the plugin file. Okay, so I logged in on my laptop. I'm very excited by this. Okay, and you have no plugin installed. No, I have no plugin installed at all. Okay, so next thing after you install the plugin, it's very important that you read. Uh, a last error code. So uh, get last error. By the way, I want and to welcome Michelle Gravel and uh, Gil from Portugal and WJ from Twin Cities and uh, uh, Michael Kerwin from Ireland. Welcome. And then it looks like R Russian, but I can't really read Cyrillic. Oh, Margaret deleted it. Looked like it was a Russian robot. Uh, and then Christian from another Christian, uh, Cree, uh, Cree Tech from Hanover, Germany. So yeah, so this is Christian Schmidt. He's a uh, he's close by where you're at over there somewhere. So usually uh, you go okay. go to the, the layout. Okay. Yeah, that's it. Yep. Um, here maybe search the record okay. for the plugin to install. Okay. Uh, platform. Uh huh. Uh, approved. I mean, you want to at least uh, test it yourself before you install it on a hundred machines. Sure, sure. So uh, I have a this question. The ins this install will work on Windows, though, correct? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so NJ, this works on Windows. Um, the install, yeah. uh, the the vi the video, the, the the screen capture part is not specifically Windows. He has features that kind of go one way or the other way. So. Yeah. So uh, then we we check. Uh, let's see if uh -huh. if dollar e is zero, then uh, dialog. Oh, yeah, success. Cool. Yeah, I'm logged on right now. Else, well, else you're in trouble. <laughs> so uh, yeah, let's say. Um, uh, trouble. Okay, there you go. Get it uh, dollar E. Uh, so there's an error code and there is uh, our message. I like so, that. Uh, one letter variables, error and message. Yeah, well, uh, I like that. The, the name, the length of the variable is usually depending on the scope of the variable. And if the variable is only valid for two lines, I don't care much for the name. Ah, okay. Um, plugin install error. Let me just show you the table. Um, yeah, here. 
Okay. So you may either get uh, 1550 uh, or 1551. So this is about not being able to load the plugin. Yeah. Okay. Like you see, it may be not uh, code signed. It may be the wrong file format. Um, it may have a certificate error. Well, maybe a duplicate here, duplicate ID. So, okay. and then the installation may fail because while well, your disk is full, okay. it can't unpack the plugin. All right. Uh, wrong file extension or container format. Or Can you, uh, yeah, we're, we're going to do, we're going to test this on Mac. If it works, then I need you to drag the uh, ex executable into, uh, for Windows into another record so that Windows people can run that. I don't want them to uh, be left out. But yeah, can, can we test uh, yes. to see if this works? Should I, should I run the script? Should I try it? So, oh, you want to just try it? Yeah, it's just. All right, here it goes. I'm running it. What's happening? I got a, uh, it's thinking. It's thinking. Yeah, it it has to download the container. Uh, oh, that's right. Okay. Yeah. How big? How big is it? Hundred something, or what is it? No, no, I think fifty megabytes. Okay, so it's downloading across my network. Okay, so, so uh, oh. let me uh let me uh move the screen off here just a smidge. You can see this. So, over oh, here we, can... we have the laptop, and it's going. You probably can't see it very well, but it's uh it's spinning over here. And downloading, and then I'll get a dialogue one way or the other here. So this is this is actually very by, by in the old days in FileMaker six server days. This was a real pain in the ass, painful. For Windows, I should actually change this a little bit, and because you would be on the first record. Oh yeah, you don't want to um, uh, just make it for the current record. So you go to the record, then run it. I guess whatever. I have success. Yeah. I have success. I have success. I don't think anyone see the success. You can't see the success. Where's my success? Damn it. There's okay, a, yeah. there's yeah, a success a right there. You can't see sh but it's right there. Very okay, cool. Okay, so go back to the other table. Uh -huh. Can you see the version number there? Uh, yeah, 1210.01. Woo! Okay. This is exciting. I like doing stuff in classroom mode like this because you learn something. And and, uh, and here's the here's a trick for all of you out there. Whenever you're training somewhere, if you have an instructor, in this case not me, it's Christian. If they have their shit together, they can they can call an audible. It's like in American football, the quarterback comes up there and he looks at the defense and goes, "Shit, this ain't what I need." So he changes the play and they listen. And that's what he just did. A good quarterback can do that. Christian Schmidt can do that. That's why he wins all these awards. That's why I buy his product. I personally buy his product. Okay. So we, we get a button here to install the plugin. Um, and I can remove this first line here so it may install uh, the one in the current okay. uh, record. So okay. make a new record. and um, So for those of you so, on Windows, open the file, go to the plugin table, go to record number DOS. Okay? Yeah, let, let me just drop this in. Now it will have to upload again. How much is That's it? That's fine. No big deal. We're doing great. A few megabytes to uh, West Coast USA. So 12. There we go. There we go. I just put a Windows version. Yeah. 64-bit. Um, Click out. Commit the record. Sweet. It's already committed? Yep. Yep. It's already there so, for everyone to try. All right, Ken. So, well, I could try. Oh, you could. Yeah, but you already have it installed, right? Don't you? Well, I can show you the error message because, well, oh. installing the Windows version on Mac should give you an error message. Oh, yeah. I guess you could. I mean, if you do here some quality insurance testing, <laughs> <laughs> you uh. have to cause errors. Okay, so now I'm on this computer. All right, so Ken says I included the plugin. Included with the plugin is a file that does this install all version I just implemented a week ago. So Ken apparently bought your software, which is great. This is a version updated, the latest version. I'm finding more cool stuff in Monkey Brad's software every day. Coming from the Tom Cruise of the hot air balloon business, right? So Okay, so now yeah, what? if you look in the examples, uh, there's a utility functions. Um, mm -hmm. There is an install plugin if needed example. Mm -hmm. uh, I just wait here for okay. FileMaker to show me the error message. It seems like downloading the container takes a while. It took it a little bit for me, but I was kind of... Let me do a trick and just launch a second version of... Ah. Oh, no. 
That's so now to do the uh, 18, let okay. me launch FileMaker 18 okay. in uh, English so I can just open the file. So NJ is in Australia, he's on Windows and it's uh, downloading the uh, installer right now or the x64 oh. binary, whatever that is. So he's uh, trying it. This is exciting. Oh, we got an error message. There you go. Look at that. Could not be installed. This is good. I have I honestly have not done this specific thing in the FileMaker platform in 25 years. That's oh, how long ago it's been. Is missing. The error message is missing. Because I don't let's take a time. look on yep. on the correct script. Like yep, here is yep, the example yep. included with the plugin. So you see we have containers for the different versions. Ah, okay. So there's a sample file right there. That's very cool. Yeah. And Jay, just let it go. Uh, eventually, it'll probably pop or something will happen. Okay, so Alpha Lima 92651, there's a question here. If you check the question, do you download the MBS plugin first and drag it to container, or did your script go and get the download? So um, can you walk can you walk them through the, the install one more time? Just you're yeah, gonna uh, just a second. So I I drag and dropped the plugin from the um, from the plugin folder I got when I download the MBS plugin. Um, and there's a Windows version, there's a Mac version, and there's a Linux version. Actually, Windows has two versions, but uh, FileMaker 19 is 64-bit only, so you only need the 64-bit versions for new deployments. There's a Mac version, there's a Linux version, and you can install uh, those okay. three with a script step. Cool. So on our website, let's go on the website, there is a, a link here, the download box, and there's individual files, and you find all the files. And actually, we have here gzip files. So you could download those URLs with inlet from URL into the plugin file container to install them. So some people do that. Um, there's even a version JSON here, which tells you exactly with which version this is. So you could script it to have the the script download these files into the container, so you automatically get them if you don't just want to use drag and drop. So I hope this answers the question about the installation. So as you can see, we've gone through the process of scripting the installation of both a Mac and Windows plugins for the FileMaker platform and specifically for FileMaker Pro. Keep in mind that a plugin for Mac and a plugin for Windows, those are two separate products. As a result, we really have to put both of those into separate containers somehow and then determine what kind of computer we're on and then run the appropriate script. So that's all part of what Christian Schmidt demonstrated there with that sample file and those scripts. Now the second part of this live stream is going to be in a separate recording you can catch on YouTube. And that's where we talk about the continuity camera, which is really quite impressive, but really a totally different topic, which is why we're kind of cutting it here and uh, having it in a separate video file. So with that, I'll catch you next time. Or license. Uh, well, it's potentially expired. Look at the back of that car right there. Looks like the FileMaker license has expired. Sir, I need you to step out of the vehicle. Sir, sir, step out of the vehicle. Sir. <laughs>